Hey guys, it's DC here and today I wanted to get a little extract from a live stream I've just completed and uh, put it together into a small video which is all about experience, skill and certifications all tied together to see a sort of comparison chart between them on different types of jobs. So let's start the video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, no one 8090 says, hey DC, let's have talk on degrees versus skill in IT field. All right, I will have a talk about skills versus degree. Let me get my screen up. Let's put Excel or something up here, right? So we can do a little comparison. Blank workbook. Right, uh, let's make this one to 10 actually, because this is going to be too hard to gauge like this. So, all right, security analyst, you need five skill and eight is a uh, degree is worth eight points. Pen tester, it's, it's kind of the other way around where eight is the skill and a degree is worth about five. Now, something else we need to add in here is certifications. So your certifications are worth Roughly, uh, let's say, oh, no, I'll put four for a security analyst. So the certs are, are worth about four. Pen tester, your certs. So for example, OSCP is, that's worth roughly a seven. So seven points for an, uh, a pen tester in, in, in the way of points anyway. Um, but just for generalization, we'll say seven is how much a cert weighs in on, a, on getting a pen tester role. So if, are you guys with me? You, you're understanding what I'm talking about here? You, you, get, you get what I'm saying. I don't want to change my camera around and feel lazy. So yeah, you, you get it. You with me? Good. Okay. Incident response. Now this one is a little bit higher. We'll go, we'll start with certs first. Six for incident response six on degree and this is this is probably a five right digital forensics your skills are worth more your degree is it doesn't honestly it doesn't really matter what degree you're doing in digital forensics law tends to help out but um you know a, a degree in cybersecurity or you know, whatever it is, is, is always going to help, but it doesn't matter so much what that degree is, is the point I'm making on this one. Um, and certs is, yeah, probably about a six or a five, I'd say, yeah. Bug bounty, 10 in the skills. If you want to, um, if you want to understand bug bounties and get paid in bug bounties, skill is the most important thing. Degree, one, it doesn't matter if you have a degree or not to get into bug bounties. Certs, um, to internal stranger, will this be saved on the channel? Absolutely. So, uh, so certifications in bug bounty probably worth more than a degree, but still not much. I'd say three. Now something else worth adding in here is experience. Okay. So landing a job as a security analyst with experience, if you have experience. Now experience is worth quite a lot. I would say it's, you will have a, a higher chance of getting a job if you have experience. Pen tester, absolutely. Incident response, yes. Digital forensics, yes. Th these should all actually be nines to be honest. Um, we'll, uh, we'll put it as 10. We'll put it as eight, sorry. Bug bounty, zero. It doesn't matter if you have experience in bug bounties or not. However, getting paid would ramp that up a bit. So anyone can get into bug bounties with no experience, but if you have more experience, obviously you, you know, you have experience in it. So you're going to be quicker and you'll be able to find, um, you, you'll be able to find it. So Zoltan is saying, doesn't experience time with skills. And I would say 
sometimes yes, but also sometimes no. Like some people have heaps and heaps of skill, but um, no experience. And it, it's, you know, it's pretty strange. A lot of people have heaps of experience, but no skill. I mean, I work with a, a few people who have heaps of experience and have absolutely bottom level skill, I think, personally. I'm not dishing out on them, I'm just saying, you know, that's just how it is. So, yeah, I think um, as far as this this goes, this, this graph here, um, <clears throat> I think that's, that's pretty accurate, to be honest. The fuck? Oh, my Siri thinks I'm talking to it, but I'm not Siri. Leave me alone. So yeah, what do you guys think? What What do you reckon about this little uh, this little graph here of um, your likeliness of getting a job from one to ten based off the job that we're applying for here, the skills, the degree, and the cert. So yeah, what do you guys think about that? Do you think that the graph should be a little bit different, maybe more weight in different areas to, to what I've said? Or what, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you're new here, please do like this video to help me out in the algorithm. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.